Lock, uh, Eric Nichols style. Hood gets it from the middle. Goes in towards Bolton, who's starting forward. Really? And he goes with the mark and takes it. 45 out. Just talking to the natives. <laughs> Dale, he just, you know, loves his people. Goes up towards the goal square. Over the back, BJ. Oh, do you get one high? He gets a goal anyway. Did he kick it? No, he, he missed, missed it. it. Yeah, he got tackled. And uh, I thought he got one high in the tackle. But anyway, the umpire said play on. And he got swung around. Missed it to the near side. So 8-4-52 East Geelong. They lead Geelong West four straight 24. So Cheetahs to kick it back in. And it's a good kick for distance too. Over the back, Archer tried to take the mark and couldn't take it, but uh, brought it to ground. And they could run free and go towards half forward. Oh, the kick was it's a one on three. Out there was Mitchell. Rosiello tries to keep it in for Nia Waddy. He gets it back to Rosiello. He goes with a right foot kick dangerously oh, across no. half back and turn the ball over nicely for um, Casey Nance to take it. Goes long to the goal square. Good grab. Good grab. And it's a very good grab. I think it was Mitchell, was it? Yep. Who took it? Actually, I probably should have went, whoa, and wake up the Moggs Creek boys. <laughs> now, did he come from Bell Park? Uh, no, Braden Mitchell no. is a Bansdale recruit. This is no, Dylan this Mitchell. Is Dylan, Mitchell. Dylan, okay. Dylan. So he has uh, kick one this afternoon in the first term. This is to make it two and a good start for the Cheetahs in the second quarter. He comes in, right foot kick, puts it through the middle. So he's second of the afternoon. And they go to five straight. 30, Geelong West. They trail East Geelong 8 4 52. And that's on the Common Affine Hotel second quarter scoreboard. Two minutes played. Oh, it just shows you the value of a big long kick out of trouble. They've been mucking around with it and handballing it to opposition players. A big long kick. All right, it took a couple of mistakes along the way to get the goal from East. A bad kick. He's centering it to a, right in the middle of the centre half forward to a, to a West player. But the value of a long kick can never be underestimated, I reckon. It's, especially, as I said before, if you're down a little bit on skills, kick it long and run after it. Just go back to the basic principles of footy. Get it and kick the bloody thing. Back with the umpire, middle of the ground. Jervie's doing the ruck work inside oil, so is Pitt doing the ruck work. Benny Bolton's having a little bit of a spell in the forward line. Ball thrown up. Both players get a touch on it. Ricky O'Toole read it, got it to Ravis. Ravis now into the half forward line. Primke out, doesn't take the mark this time. Cavello able to get the ball to ground. Picked up with handball come out to Stodgen off. Underneath it now, Robertson got the handball back towards Cole. Got a little boot to ball, didn't travel that far. So the ball now runs back towards the goal square. There's a holding decision. And from the umpire, it's not even controlling the game. Jeez, he's 50 metres away. Yeah, well, he's fi over 50, yeah. It's a brave decision. And it's going to be a free kick to Long West Way. And the free kick will go back there to Robinson. And he goes with a handball outside the Cole. Cole back towards centre wing. Primke read the flight of the ball nicely over the top. Traps it just inside the field of play. On the right boot, he goes backwards. Oh, oh gee, I'll tell you, dangerous, dangerous but Simon, mate. but... Yeah. <laughs> The young fella does well there, and he goes back into the middle of the ground now. Mark is to be taken in there by Vandenberg, just backward of centre square. Player far side of the ground, runners are there, and the mark comes out. Mark is also taken. Anderson handballs over the top, so away okay, they go again, going back towards Barry O'Toole. Mark not to, taken at ground level, picked up. BJ O'Toole handballs to Warwick. Warwick he's, uh, goes on the left boot, goes back towards the goal square. Mark needs to be taken. Barry oh, O'Toole really is up, did. didn't uh, quite hang on to it. BJ O'Toole puts his head down, picked up by Jervis. I think he got him by the ankle then. The day of no, no, he's waiting for the trip, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. He's lucky because the umpire... <laughs> well, he was on the wrong side of the pack. He was on the other side of the ball. Then so were we, and we saw it. So now the umpire, quick ball up. Jervis taps it back. Stodgen off through the middle of the contest. Goes towards goal, but misses. And his second behind of the afternoon. 8-5 now to the East Geelong side. They lead an accurate Geelong West on five goals mm. straight. Ticked over four minutes, second quarter. This is coming to Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. So Cole from fullback for the Cheetahs. Likes to go to the outer side again with distance. 65 metre kick. Over the back, no mark taken by Archer. He might get the footy back though. And then he ducked his head and, and the umpire said it was high. So then Dwyer oh. followed it up and then he kicked it into the backyard. Well. And a bounce on the full up onto the bike track. So we will have a free kick to the Eagles. They get it quickly to Hood, who wheels around on the left and goes inside 50. And poor marking. Bird's taken it. Dwyer had to come back. He's uh, 50 out. He was looking for somebody run, running past. But Adam Bird has to go back now. Too far out to score. Goes with a kick. Barrio to Primke. Oh, they all leave oh, it. Just oh, Primke bounce. just hands it away to BJ. BJ played for the free kick and got he it got because it. he uh, phoned the handball. 
and went the other way and got a high tackle. So we'll have a set shot from 15 metres out for goal number four. I just ran past it and stood there and watched the footy go through the middle. Let it sit down on the, on the deck. So BJ comes in, kicks the goal. So his fourth of the afternoon and the ninth for East Geelong. They got a 9 5 59 and they lead Geelong West 5 straight 30. Common Affair Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, five and a half, and it's played. Well, he did duck the head a little bit, but you'll always get a free kick when a bloke bumps. If he tackles, you might get away with it. When a bloke bumps and you can make head contact, it doesn't seem to matter. They'll pay it every time. But uh, what was he kicked for? Four. Yeah. He's a cheeky little bugger, isn't he? He just sneaks in and he's probably only had six kicks. Still 19 years of age and 51 games, not bad. Yeah. So back with the umpire, middle of the ground. Ruck work up, Jervies. Uh, he's actually tapped down this time again by Pitt. Running forward, picked up Rabbis, tried to get it forward. Again, he has support, numbers outside. Handball goes over the top. And now East Geelong in towards the centre forward position. Kick didn't have much carry on it. It's been marked there, but it's been touched, no, touched. off the boot. And Carr has it and been held up by Stodzinov. So a ball up to take place. Still in the point of the centre square. A quick throw up by the umpire. Ball is tapped down, picked up. The kick was smothered. So, again, an opportunity for East Geelong. Players uh, picking the ball up. It's waiting to be tackled now. And the ball goes back to the umpire once again. So a quick ball up to take place. Jervis taps the ball. Running play going back towards the boundary line. So Callahan is able to stop and prop. Pick the ball up. Looks. Has a player back inside. That's well That's waited. Better. So it's a better kick. And now they go quickly into their four line again. A nice looking kick. Mark not taken out there by Mitchell. Three on one situation. Nywaddy going to be the first one to get back there. Handball comes out. Rosiella goes back towards centre wing. Kick. Again, favoured the uh, opposition side there. And it's picked up by Oldies. His handball wasn't good. So again, a chance for East Geelong to turn the ball over. They do that. And a look up, goes back inside towards Ricky O'Toole. One-handed, and he takes the mark. In the old days, he would have been gone. He goes now. But the umpire's going to call him back, and he's going to go back behind the mark. So, ball now returning to Ricky O'Toole. Got to go and collect it himself. This is a genuine question, guys. How old is Ricky? Oh, 38. Uh, so Ricky mm. O'Toole now, he goes back into the middle of the ground. Kick is good. Mark is taken. What's well, no, not? The umpire says he put it down. So Hood has to do a little bit of work. He comes out the back of the uh, contest and kicks backwards. Finds Anderson. Teammate now delivers the ball towards centre wing. Bird comes up. Mark is not taken. We actually didn't have good hand to ball. The uh, players arrive at the contest now. Stodging off. Try to get the handball over the top. He's tackled. Brought to ground there by Archer. Umpire stands back. And again, there's going to be a ball up to take place on centre wing. I think we'll have 12 goals kicked in for the rest of the game. What a way of looking. It's 12 in the first quarter. This time, ball tapped down. West dive on top of the ball. They've got numbers there. Car at ground level. Umpire, how does he see it? Quickly calls it and gives the ball back to the umpire. So another ball up to take place. Centre wing. Jervies over the top this time. Pitt knocks the ball down. Long West uh, able to clear up the uh, ball coming through, but it's a free kick being given, and it's going to go to O'Callaghan once again. So O'Callaghan, you know, that side of the ground, there's plenty of space out there, but no one leading towards it. Now they've got a player leading that way in Mitchell, but he goes back, club room side, short to Jervis, can play on if he wants to. Now he goes, has to stop and step back inside. Little short kick going forward, didn't hit the mark. Again, it's a little bit of luck, but the ball has been picked up there by Aldridge. He goes into the forward line, well way to kick, and coming out to take the mark is Vaughan. So Vaughan with an opportunity to keep their record going. They have five straight. And take a good kick from there. Warwick Yates would have kicked him from there. Warwick Yates. Warwick Yates. <laughs> well, Dave Manson, he played every TD, big Dave. Darky got your, Harris. God, you're yeah. old, Dale. Oh, I love it. Darky Harris. Vaughan, nice looking kick off the boot. Look at they that. Five, and now they've got that. six. Straight through the middle. Six goals straight, 36-9-5. 59 to the East Geelong side, and we have gone nearly 10 minutes, second quarter. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. This is a nice kick. He has shown a bit of class, young Vaughan, hasn't he? He's a, he's a pretty good player. He's a pretty good kick, but they actually got the ball down a little bit better that time. And one of the things, too, like when the East Geelong, they decide to kick back, there's four East Geelong defenders standing in front of, their, of the forwards. Stand up with them. Stand in front of them. Forwards play in front, don't they? That they do. So back to the middle. 
And Bolton Jervis gets it down, stodging off in the middle as well. Hold, said the umpire, going to East Geelong. Oh, I think Ricky's, yeah. <laughs> Ricky tried to get the, get the kick, but it was stodging off with Frey. <laughs> he's, he's, he tries every trick in the book, Rick, to get a kick. Oh, yeah. He chips it towards half forward. Primke goes up. Oh, too easy. Way too easy. And wheels around, goes towards Barry. Barry holds off his opponent. Oh, oh well geez. done. Well done. <laughs> he might not move as quick, but he's got every trick in the book, Baz. Well, he uses his body. He does. Yeah. He does. He's, uh, he's done nicely there. And as we'll have a set shot for goal from 25 outside angle. Yeah, but he's still five short of five in the first half. Hasn't, <laughs> <laughs> hasn't kicked one yet. Delaro tools. It maybe meant BJ, did he? Yeah. He might have meant BJ. He comes in. Right foot kick. He's still short, I think, because he's missed that one. Three for one behind. So they get a 9, 6.60 East Geelong. They lead Geelong West 6 straight, 36. Common Affair Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, 11 minutes played. He'd be devastated too. He really, really, really hates missing a goal. He leaned back on that a bit, didn't he? Yeah. Just over at Thompson, 17 minutes into the second quarter. Thompson, 4-4-28, leading North Geelong, 4-3-27. Would have been a good game to go and see, I reckon, oh, that one. Oh, that, that was a possibility, a match of the round two. But <laughs> they need a big kick in here, Smitty, like a big Jan Smith kick in. <laughs> oh, here we go. Jan Smith, remember him? <laughs> Jan Smith, yeah. <laughs> so Cole does the Jan Smith kick in. Goes towards Cavallo. Jervis, good mark. Oh, mark. Good mark by mark. the skipper. Plays on, half back. Short little kick's okay. Finds Nance. Along the line towards centre wing. Running off half-back with Smith. Goes in that direction. Runs across half-back. Jervies. Gets the ball back. Handball over the top towards Nance. Runs towards the middle. Oh, geez, he, his own player nearly ran into him, I think. Cole. He gets through a couple and goes out wide with the kick. If it sits okay for Vaughan, he's in. He handballs it back in board. Oh, gee whiz. He's gone. That he, was he uh, Harris. He, Is that, hey? Harris. Yeah, Harris. <laughs> Where do you think? Where did he think the hell he was going? I don't know. He looked like he looked like a horse in the headlights. There, he yeah. had no idea where he was going. Kick backwards to Primkin out. So he's in the middle. Goes switches play to the outer side centre wing position. Warwick chips the ball back in board. Anderson he takes the mark just inside the centre square at half forward. Drives it long inside. BJ on a lead. Good kick, and BJ takes the mark. Look, it was a good kick, but it was a really good lead. He just sort of hung back and went right at the right time. So BJ, who's kicked four goals, one. Be kicking from 50. A yeah, good kick from there. He goes into the I'm pocket. Try. Oh, geez, Warwick. You don't leave a bloke like Chris Warwick by himself. Well, you don't leave anyone Anybody. by themselves no. there. It's, it's just bad football. Tough kick for a left footer, though. Left forward pocket, southern end of the ground. 35 out on the boundary with the breeze running across towards the uh, opposite side of where he's going to kick. So it's going to be tough, but he's got some good skills. Had a good year last year, playing in the midfield this year. After playing halfback in 2015, he comes in. Left foot kick. Close. Punched back in by Primke. Cavallo gets the handball away Ooh. in the goal square. Under pressure, dangerous. Robertson flicked the handball out, and it's OK. The Cheetahs are away, but they're not for much longer, though, because they turn the ball over at 50. If they can pick it up, the Eagles, though, they do now. And they run free, kick back in quickly towards the hot spot. Cole punched away from behind. BJ in the middle of it as well. Barry out the back. Clearing kick again. This time it came from Robinson. Goes outside. Defensive 50 towards the centre wing now. And lots of players overrunning the football. Nobody can pick it up. Ball still in dispute. Now it's away, Anderson. And a free kick, though, found for a tackle, high tackle, on Braden Mitchell. And he gets it at right centre wing. Goes towards half forward. No mark by Harris. Off the back of the pack. Ball back towards Ricky O'Toole. Gets through a couple. Slips over. Shuffles the handball out. Needs some support. Hester wrapped up. Not going anywhere. And it will be a ball up right half forward for the Cheetahs. And they trail... Six straight, 36. East Geelong, 9, 6, 60. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. And we have been playing 15 minutes. So the ball thrown up again. East Geelong with the numbers. They get it away, but only as far as centre wing. Mark is taken out there. So a chance for 
The cheat is to go back into attack. Mitchell from centre wing goes long towards centre half forward. Directed towards Harris, I think it was. Ball is picked up, cleared away. And that was by Watson who comes back outside. Kick. Fortunate enough, it lands in the hands of Bird. So he's got the ball. Handball goes to the runner outside. Ricky O'Toole. Just a little short kick forward. Goes towards player. I think it's... Was it Hester? Potter? It was Hester, it was. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Back inside now. Stodging off. He's going to go back outside. So he's going to win possession again. If he can keep the ball in possession in the field of play. Able to trap it. Little handball over the top. Goes in that direction now. Spawn of the runner. Needs to pick the ball up. Decides to just go off the ground towards Jervy. He takes the mark and plays on and delivers the ball back towards centre wing. Mitchell and also Bird. Bird got hand the ball. Davis comes through. Picks it up. Got the handball away. Did well there. Dwyer. Steps around and goes short out towards centre wing. Kick. Won't stay in and runs over the boundary line. And a throw-in will take place. Just there forward. Uh, attacking in it. Um, just in centre, past centre wing. So a ball up to take place. Or a ball in to take place once again. Good Looking forward company. to half-time, Grub. Oh, yeah. Smitty's just... Yeah, no. a... I've got the same as you, Grub. I've got the interest here. It's really thriving. Real glass eye stuff, this is. Yes, Stodging off <laughs> away. Unfortunately for his uh, side, Rabbit slipped oh. over. Good chase. He nearly caught his uh, opponent. But the mark has gone forward. And Davis, just in the back of the glue pot, has taken the mark. He, he looks like out. a fold, doesn't he, yeah. Daniel Harris? Goes forward <laughs> into the forward line quickly. Good spoil from behind. So the ball runs free. Picked up Sponner. Tapped oh. it away, but only as far as Dwyer goes outside the Vaughan, stops, kicks round his body back towards the goal square. If they've kept their record intact because it's gone out of bounds on the full, <laughs> free kick will go to East Geelong deep in their back line. Again, like Sponner, just tapped it back. Get it, grab it. He's a good player, Sponner. Grab it and kick the bloody thing. So it's in the body taking the uh, resulting free kick deep in their defence. Goes outside 50. Bird up, good, good pair of hands. He's done quite well, Bird. Hadn't mind the way he's played today. Yeah, gone well. Goes quickly now towards centre wing. Kick was well directed because it went straight to Jervis of the opposition. Jervis just didn't take the mark, was able to follow up and take possession of the ball. Goes by hand by Mitchell. Got the handball back to Jervis. He knocks it to Cavallo. Cavallo inside 50. Mark is not taken out there, but West, they had the numbers, but it ends up there in the hands of, again, I'm not too sure it is, at uh, Millet. And the ball will go back over the boundary line. And it's going to be another throw in on Ford 50. There was a bird that played out at Mottawari a few years ago. Mick Bird. He won a Whitley medal. He did. Yeah. He did, the big fella. How the hell he ever won it, I'll never know. He, Filson's come second or third <laughs> that year. Cousins come second. There you go. Johnny Cousins. Oh, he did. Ball in the hands of Ricky O'Toole. He goes back towards centre wing. Primke leads up, takes the mark. So the runners are Ford. And his options now are not too many because uh, West have got numbers back behind the pole and the mark has been taken by O'Toole. He comes back towards the middle of the slush and the mark is going to be taken in there by Pitt. Plays on quickly, so the runner outside is Rabbis. He can go if he wants to. He goes on, goes into the forward line quickly. Good BJ kick. O'Toole comes up. Didn't have to change stride and he comes out and takes the mark. So BJ O'Toole will kick from 45. Well, it's an accurate kick. I'm not too sure he's got the distance in him. Barry just needs to turn and come at him. BJ's got the head down. I watched him before the game. He, he had about five shots from pretty much here and kicked every one oh, of them. Oh, yeah. there you go. All right. So Although BJ the ball might be a bit heavier now. Comes in, kicks towards goal. Going to go across the face and through for a minor score. So four goals, two to young BJ O'Toole. And that is 9 7 61. To East Geelong, they lead Geelong West six straight 36. We've gone 19 minutes, second quarter, Connorfine Hotel scoreboard. So, Cole. So, why don't you kick it to this bloke? Is that not in the game plan? Yeah, Jan, Jan Smith kick in, goes long, looking for Archer, off the back of the pack, knew it, gets around a couple, then he loses the football. Yeah, Worm's a much better player, I think. Ball wrapped up. He right. told us before the game, didn't he? Yeah, he's still he? got a bit to do, yeah. his son. Yeah. Worm, what would he know? He never played for his life. <laughs> Bolton <laughs> gets it down. Primp get the side of the pack. Runs away. Outside of the right foot. Back inside 50. Cole, though. Oh, had it. Lost it. Gave it back. Then got a high tackle. Umpire said play on. Then he dropped it. So he got a punce in the end. Yeah. yeah Worm's one of those blokes who's watched footy all his life and thinks he knows everything about him. <laughs> he knows rubbish. Knows nothing. <laughs> so Hood's got the footy. 50 out from goal being moved around onto his mark to kick it. 
So, Hood runs in. Oh, holds up in the breeze. Prim Geek kept his eye on it. Oh, I should have taken the mark. Done the hard work. He did the hard work. He handballed it back to Rick, who stood there. Oh, through five. Oh. The cannon kick oh. for goal. Oh, kick for back. God's sake, run through. Oh. oh, he misses it and kicks it through for one behind. <laughs> How is he, eh? Just brute force from the old man. I'll tell you what, if he still had just that little bit more pace, he would have had time to set then. But nine eight sixty two East Geelong, Geelong West six straight thirty six. Common FN Hotel second quarter scoreboard. So, ball is kicked in again. Cole goes far side of the ground. Mark is not taken out there by Oldies, and that runs over the boundary line. So we're going to have a throw in just outside forward fifty. Just over at Winchelsea Belmont lines leading seven nine fifty one to Winchelsea two two fourteen. All over. Well, the wind shifted again. Lucky we went. Lucky we didn't go there. <laughs> ball thrown in the half forward line. No ball is tapped down. <laughs> this time, front of the contest. The West with the numbers ends up in the hands there of Jervie. He's got the handball outside. Unfortunately, no play running past. And the ball goes back over the boundary line. And another ball in to take place. Where do you reckon they got for half time, Grub? Oh, I don't know, but it was sitting out there before the game, so it's probably off. <laughs> <laughs> what a taste of sandwiches. Ball <laughs> get, over, well, get over the yards. I think. Get <laughs> over the yards. <laughs> the ball back into play. Picked up. And it's not picked up because it's in dispute. Once again, there's a number of players around the contest. Umpire stands back, stands back. Punts. That's the first punch of the game. No, no, second. no second. Just, just oh, a punch before. Two. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Two punches. So the ball goes back. Free kick. Uh-oh, the worm Easter Long goes back inside. Again, Bird Jeez. over the top. Got possession of it. Had a running player. Missed the target. <laughs> Needs support. And it's unfortunately West with the numbers this time. Players are picking the ball up. Being tackled straight away. Again, they work out of the contest this time. Good work there by Dwyer. Handball goes back. Picked up by Carr. Goes towards centre wing. Mark is taken out there by Mitchell. He's been pretty good for Geelong West yeah. today. He goes quickly into their forward line. Vaughan doesn't cover the ball. And what he does, he picks the ball up. A little bit of strength. Got through the first couple. Then got boot to ball. Went back outside 50. Heads towards centre wing. And will beat Bird over the boundary line. And a throw-in will take place uh, about half forward. Johnny half Scarlett forward, played here too, didn't he? Yeah, John Johnny Scarlett. Scarlett. Hey, I remember here Pricey fixed him up. Trevor Ivan Price. Russell. Who? Ivan Russell. What Ivan about Big Pass? Oh, Parsons. Uh -huh. Used to oh, play. yeah. Oh, <laughs> they were the days of football, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ball on centre wing. It's Geelong West. Head over the contest. They're doing well. They keep the ball in this time. Umpiring quickly. Mate of mine played here too. Fraser Murphy. Fraser yeah. Murphy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he He's a Bell Park boy. Yeah. Ball tucked in on centre wing. Goes down from Bolton. He does his own clearance work. Gets out of the contest. Into the half forward line. Put your money on Primke. <laughs> Doesn't take the mark this time. He does well. West, Cole. Oh, tries to do the big fit off again. Argue. He was tackled. BJ Tool head down. High tackle. And young BJ Tool will win possession of the ball. So Barry's looking for a quick exit here. BJ. Getting to the ball. His Primke. Feet. Now Primke. looking to go long. Primke. Into the forward line. This time again. Primke. Same direction. Primke. <laughs> Oh, he just put the hand he in back, held put him up. the hands out there, but minimal contact. Seriously, he was looking at it for 30 seconds, Primke. So Simon goes backwards, kick oh, to Hood. Oh, Gee, how do you leave a bloke by himself? Oh, oh, that crying. is just... Okay. Blimey, Teddy. <sighs> so Jared Hood to come in. And he's not a bad kick of the football. This is uh, well within range. Loads up. He's oh. not even going to make the distance. You're Bazza. Give him a uh, kick along. BJ Tool tries oh. to work his way through. Don't know whether oh. he got the handball away. Throws says the umpire. And the umpire will bring things back. So free kick is going to oh, go. Oh, give Barry one. <laughs> who's that bloke? Who's who, kicking? Who, who's got the death wish? Who oh. was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bow and arrow. Archer. <laughs> the archer. Take goes, it easy, brother. Goes Take it easy. Four. That's a great kick. And the mark is taken out there. LeMate gets to his feet. Handball goes off. Running player again through there is Carr. Back towards centre wing they go. Miss Davis over the top. Mark is not taken. Mitchell's out there. Picked up there by Bird. Or he didn't pick the ball up, but he's got support. Unfortunately, uh, handball went backwards. Now it's picked up. Clearance is going to through Hood again on his left boot. Comes into the half forward line. Kick not well directed. Turned over. Cole takes the mark. Handball's over the top. Goes back towards Aldridge. Runs over centre wing. Goes back to Cole. Handball straight to his opposition player. So this 
time it's back to uh, Geelong West and oh. it's kicked, well sorry, East Geelong but it kicked, went backwards again and it's been taken there by Carr of Geelong West Handball comes back inside, puts his team out under pressure, Aldridge had support, Robertson goes outside, Jervies now with the ruck, Mark and plays on kicks towards centre wing, over the top the ball runs, so again ball back in dispute, numbers there, coming through Watson didn't uh, take possession of the ball it's picked up. Ricky O'Toole lays a tackle. Umpire comes in very quickly and we'll have a ball up in between centre wing and half forward. Tacking into the ground this time, Geelong West. Quick ball in by the umpire. Jervis does nicely. Taps it back to O'Callaghan. He's short kick to Vaughan. Was a little bit low. Ground level. Couldn't pick the ball up cleanly. Has support. He was tackled. Brought to ground. Umpire says the tackle was <laughs> high, was it? Yeah. It's going that way. No. So, camera has got the ball. He's got Pillow the ball. to the commentary box, please. Where he wants to go with it. He, so he goes long to the goal square. Numbers back there. Anderson didn't take the mark at ground level. Picked up. Kicks back towards goal. And it runs through for their first <laughs> minor of the day. Six goals, one. Now to the Geelong West side. Who kicked that? Nine goals, eight. Drag him. East Geelong. And we have ticked over 26 minutes, second quarter. Kick in, finds Bird inside defensive 50. Plays on now. Kicks it up. No mark taken or good roving. Rimp key. Goes inside to BJ. Little shove. Nice. Umpire didn't see it. Oh, Run away, oh, BJ. Oh, and a bit of candy. Handball over top. Give it back to him. Oh, should have too, Hood. Gave it away in the air. Oh, Robinson from midair, if you don't mind. Oh, 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 Party oh, oh. tricks in the back line. <laughs> and Paul comes back. Hester. His handball back to inboard, back towards Hester on the boundary line. Short little kick. Oh, he kicks on the bike track. On the bike track. Gee whiz. Oh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope afternoon tea's okay, I'll tell you. They always admit in this second term. So, LeMate. Last line defence. Chips it to Robinson, who kicked it out of midair last time. This time he takes the mark. No party tricks in the last line defence now. Oh, down the middle. If you don't mind. Cole was standing there for an hour and a half. Oh, then he played oh. on quickly. Oh, squeezed the ball out. Centre wing, but Bird does better. He goes to half forward. Oh, Pitt missed it completely. Cole took the mark. He wants to play on quickly. Oh, thank yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> half time. They're all up in the box. <laughs> 27 minute half. Uh, uh, scored it in. And it's half time. It's 9 8 62 East Geelong. And they lead uh, Geelong with 6 1 37.